Welcome to World Road, a digital community wardrobe filled with stories, sustainable fashion practices and shareable knowledge concerned with domestic textile techniques. Select a garment to enter the creator's space. Welcome to my living space. This is where I work and play. There are two items that you can select to see the process behind the making of my garment. As a young child, I used to watch my mother and sometimes help her as she would gather natural materials to dye with. She's taught me everything I know about the wool process, from carding to spinning, naturally dyeing fibres, felting them, weaving them, crocheting them, knitting them. <laughs> Mama, what is carding and why do we card wool? Carding means to comb raw wool. We card to get rid of seeds and dust. To prepare the wool for the next step. In this process, my next step is to spin the wool to make yarn. You can use many different tools to spin wool. The drop spindle is the first form of spinning. Today is still the most accessible and portable. Shepherds used to carry the spindle and spin wool while herding sheep. That's cool. I'm gonna now use the yarn to crochet the bodice of my garment. Crocheting is a process of creating textiles by using a crochet hook or needle to interlock loops of yarn. When you understand the process, it's exciting because there's endless possibilities to create. Yes, and I have a deeper appreciation now that I understand the time and effort it takes. Darning is a simple sewing technique used to mend garments. I enjoy darning because I'm personalizing clothes while mending them. You'll need a darning mushroom. I've also used an uh, old light bulb. I've seen people use avocados before. Thread. You could use two different colors or the same color. It depends on who you are and what you like. And a needle. I start by sewing a frame around the hole that I'm mending using a running stitch. Once you have a border or frame around the hole, use a basting stitch across one side of the frame. I tie a knot to finish off and then I swap to my next color. From the opposite side of the frame, I start using a basting stitch and create a weaving effect using my needle going under, over, under, over. Thank you for visiting and spending time in my space. I hope if anything it's helped inspire you to create mindfully.